Hey guys, welcome to the Destiny Academy. And in this video, we are going to cover the super most important interview question. Generally, it is asked in manual testing as well as automation interviews also. I have seen which is what exactly is the test strategy? How you will basically test what exactly is your approach, right? In this video, I'm going to give you what exactly is a test strategy, right? And we are going to see some couple of examples. I'm going to show you a real life example of which template I have basically used a sample file also that you can download. And I'm going to show you a couple of other examples which basically we have used for test strategy. Key elements of a test strategy strategy that you need to give answer in the interview and how it is different from a normal test plan. All right. So let's get started guys. What exactly is a test strategy in a simple way, right? I think the moment you go to Wikipedia or something, right? It's a very complex definition is given, right? But again, the important point here, you need to pay attention, which is a high level plan for accomplishing the testing objective. That's it. It said nothing but a high level plan in this plan. What you need to mention is what and how you are going to do the things, which is how you are going to test what you are going to test, what not you are going to test. So easy way, if you want to explain in an interview, right? What, what exactly you want to test, how it will be tested, who will perform this testing and when it will be basically carried out. All this are basically answered. What, how, who, and when that's it in this case, for example, consider this scenario. I have a e-commerce website. For example, I have amazon.com where we have registration page, login page, product listing page, order page, and payment processing page, right? All these basically are here. So how you can basically create the most important thing for this kind of project, how you can create a strategy, right? Let's see that. So key elements. Key elements involve around basically scope, what will be your approach, your resources allocation, scheduling, risk, exit criteria, matrices, test environment, regression approach. In the scope, you will basically mention what are the feature and functionality that you are going to test. What are the feature and functionality which are out of scope? All these guys you are going to mention. What type of testing you are going to do? For example, you are going to do unit testing, integration, system, UAT, everything you are basically mentioning. How you are going to design your test cases, which is a black box testing technique, automation you are going to do, manual you are going to do, all these things you will mention. You will mention the different levels, for example, unit integration and system, all information on this. Not only that you will mention, right? If you are going to do only functional testing, or are you going to do non functional also where you are going to do performance testing, security, load, compatibility, and any other approach. Also, you're going to mention everything, which tool you are going to use. For example, are you going to use Jira with Sapphire? Sapphire is a test management tool, or you are going to use Bugzilla with the test link, any open source tool you are going to use all these you need to mention here, which environment you are going to use. Are you going to use QA environment, dev environment, pre pro environment? environment, what environment you are going to use and what are the infrastructure needed, right? What are the branches? Every, everything you will generally mention in this case. Automation is the need of the art. This is a wake up call for the manual testers. If you want to convert to automation, job ready automation tester batch is now live. Four months live batch, Saturday, Sunday. We are going to learn about core Java, API automation and web automation. Link is in the description. Do check it out. All the projects are live with the 24 seven doubt sessions on sd.club. Check out the more details. Not only that, I remember, uh, my QA lead base was also mentioned what are the resources we are going to basically use what are their responsibilities for example junior QA is like me we are going to write test test cases and execute the test cases QA lead will write the test plan and everything right those things they have also mentioned into the test strategy schedule what exactly is the schedule of this overall project that we are going to mention what are the risk involved exit exit criteria how the bugs will be there how what exactly is the definition of critical bug and non critical bug you have to give definition in the test strategy, regression approach and test environment setup and everything, right? So now let's see some sample, right? So this is going to, I'm going to show you first of all, very advanced kind of test strategy, which is maximum time I have seen people are using in very good, like I think CMM five level and multinational companies, like uh, for example, Infosys, Wipro, Accenture, right? I have seen this. So this is a test strategy template from there. If you notice, it's a very big one, which contains who is going to approve, what type of testing you are doing, test tools, test environment, exit criteria, what are your delivery? test release, how release happens, what is your direct strategy, which tool you are going to use, right? So it mentioned what, how, when, who, all these questions in this case, right? If you read more about it, right here, you can see that who is going to do the approvals, right? Uh, what are the type of different type of testing we are doing in the unit? For example, unit testing we are doing, right? We are doing functional testing, how the sprints will be done in case this is a 10 day sprint. This is going to be a 10 day sprints. All these are going to, they are going to mention what is their end to end testing approach? What is your regression approach? How manual regression is done? How automation will be done? How automation testing, which part of automation will be done? Everything they are going to mention in a very high level manner, high level, not in depth, high level manner. They are mentioning everything. Note this. If 
if you are doing performance testing here they have mentioned which scenarios they are which type of sprints how this performance testing is done which sprints they are going to do how much time it will take also they have also mentioned if you see right it is so in depth right it clear how and what clearly when you are going to execute everything they have mentioned here uh, how a automate automation of performance testing will be done everything here are going to mention browser based data migration if migration is allowed migration requires cross browser testing is required user acceptance testing which is uat which tool they are going to use so they are going to use jira with the fire right what is the definition of the bugs right critical high and medium everything in this case they have mentioned critically how release will be done for example there will be alpha release then beta release then there will be uh, overall release everything they have mentioned this is the environments they are going to use when they are going to use which data is required everything in the table if you see are required exit criteria tool set additional in this case right so this is a very big one but again there is a one lighter version also which i have personally used and this one is uh, i we have used in multiple startups right uh, where we i have seen test strategy directly they are mentioning all the scope for example what are the scope for customer flows that we have focus area approach how you are going to create your test cases for example boundary value equivalence partition what how do you are designing your test cases everything you are mentioned which automation you are going to use how you are going to do lot testing and everything with the schedule you can mention what are your deliverables right test closer report everything you are going to mention here what will be your regression uh, time and scheduling time four months time it will take exit criteria risk and everything it is a light second one is a lighter version on this right i hope now this is clear how to create a test strategy from the scratch i'm going to give i'm going to share both of the link in the description you can check it out you can copy this and use it in your project also okay now the main interview question which is test plan versus strat strategy test planning is a combination of strategy plugged with the overall project plan right so test plan if you see right it is basically test strategy plus project plan so it's a bigger version of it right overall if you see right test strategy is actually a subset of the test plan as per the ieee standard 8 to 9 and 2008 so many people actually don't know but test strategy is actually but nothing but a smaller set of your test plan it's a smaller set of your test plan test plans also include project plan and other things also in this case right so i hope this helps and test plan also i have explained in another video uh, you can check it out this is a very in depth video where i have created for test strategy i have shown you two important ways a lighter version of test strategy and the extensive version of test strategy which is used for cmm 5 level of companies so i hope this helps thanks a lot for watching this video guys i hope you have liked it there lot of efforts i have basically created give me a like and share for this video if you love this right if you are existing subscriber thanks a lot for watching if you are new one i create videos around this software testing and test automation like and subscribe and make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video thanks a lot this is your host promote with 12 years experience in as 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 date manager working and thanks a lot for watching bye bye